Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Herman, Guru Chiropractor, Peace and Love. I'm here with my new patient, but it's his second visit, Chris. What's going on, Big Chris? How far did you drive to come here? I forgot. Uh, a little over two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours to come see me. He came for his first visit in March. It is now end of uh, June, right? And you know, you no major like extreme pain, but you were just all jammed up and tight. You drive for a living, so you, every day you're behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. So everything was really tight and jammed. And you have a, I guess, regular chiropractor up near where you live that you were going to, you were needing to go to about yeah. once a week, every other week, right? Yes. And he just told me since his first ring dinger in full body, which was four months ago, he's only had to go one time to his other chiropractor. Yeah? Yes. So it lasted long and you were happy with that? Fantastic. But now it's tight again because you're back. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to do another good adjustment today in a ring dinger as long as you qualify once I do a little exam. And then we're going to send you home. Hopefully, we'll see you in another five or six months. That would be ideal, right? Okay, so why don't you go ahead and lay down on your belly on the table. You know how to do that, right? Face between the pillows, hands on those little side cushions. Stay relaxed. Slide down a little bit more so your face is like all the way on the paper. Perfect. All right, stay relaxed. Let me see what's going on. So I'm looking at your posture a little bit. Yeah, coming in today, you got a whole, your whole body's twisted to the left. So you got a torquing, twisting in the hips and also twisting in the shoulders. So hopefully when you leave here, you'll be more straight. <clears throat> and not only is it torqued to the right, uh, left, but your right hip is pulled up high. So it's doing this, boom, and doing this, boom. How do I know? Well, I can see it there, but also your right heel, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, about two inches shorter than your left. So you don't have a two inch short leg, right? No. no we, I would have had it in my notes from your last visit. So that means you're really tight on this side and everything's pulled up, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of that when you're walking or standing? Uh, I do. I yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you're laying too. Okay, so now I'm gonna do orthopedic test, I'm going to, you know, bend up your knees. Um, normal, you should feel it stretching in your quadriceps, in your front of your thighs. But if you feel anything extra pulling here or, or pain showing up here, as I bend your knees up, let me know. Got it? Yep. All right. Bend, 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 bend. What's going on in your lower back as I do this? Anything? Very good. Nothing's pulling extra as I go up? No. All right, good, good, good. Come down. I think you're faking then. You. You don't have any issues. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see. As I feel palpitations, yeah, ouch. Like, feels really jammed. Yeah, this side definitely feels tighter. Let's see how well your sacroiliacs are moving. Remember that test where I push down here? Yep. And then start with your left leg lift. Yup, yeah, high as you can go. Does, that's it? Okay, try your right side. Okay, and down. Actually, it looked like the left was a little tighter. Did it feel that way to you? Yeah. Left side is not going up as high. Both sides are not going up as high as it should, but left side's worse. Okay. So it's sore when I poke. Yeah. That's, that means there's inflammation in there. Sometimes you could get jammed with no inflammation, and sometimes you get jammed, and if it stays there for a longer period of time, it creates a lot of irritation, inflammation, and then if you don't get it fixed, eventually the pain starts happening. So hopefully we'll do a little preventative today so it don't blow out of control for you. Okay, a little tight here in the middle back, but nothing horrible. Okay, and a little tight in the neck, but no, again, not too bad. Let's just get started. Yeah, I mean, if you want a ring dinner and a full body, that's, uh, that's what I think is the best for you today. Yeah, you're good? Okay, so stay right there. I'm going to just do a little stretch out like I did last time. A little massage, a little loosening up. The muscles warming you up for the big stuff and then we're going right in the back room and you're going to get your number two your second ring dinger usually the second one is not as intense as the first but sometimes especially I know you waited like four months so it could be a little little more explosive today than if you would have came back in like a month or less but we'll see you tell me after we do the pull how it compares to the first one. Good. All right. 
felt a pop at you. Yeah, sometimes it pops just from the stretches because it knows it's me, man, and knows not to mess with me. So it just releases. Now we're going to do a little thumper release. If anything doesn't feel right, let me know right away. Do do do. Okay, like I said, just a little warm up. So when you're ready, big guy, come up on your feet. Take your time, no rush. And we're going in the back room. Now the table's gonna raise. <clears throat> Good. All right, now we gotta get them pins in there. Tight. Mm. That one's it right there. Handle it. Nice. Okay. Hands back to me. Make sure there's no slack. Oh, you're pinned, brother. Stay there. Relax that. Let me get the towel prepped. Towel wasn't... Your neck's not too big for the towel, right? We got it done last time? Yes. <laughs> got it. Lift up the neck real quick and down. <clears throat> no, you're good. So, is that too tight choky? Very good. Okay, just a reminder, I know you know you've been here before. Keep your teeth gently touching together, but keep your teeth together. Mm -hmm. God forbid I pull and your tongue's out, uh, in between. I'm not cleaning up blood <laughs> and I'm not paying for the dentist. <laughs> okay, and then just stay as relaxed as you can. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me five seconds. Relax your shoulders and we'll do this. <sighs> Getting a grip, nothing happening yet. Just make sure I got a good solid grip first. Bring that chin down towards your feet. Down, 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 relax. Damn. <sighs> Woo, baby. All the way down? All the way down. Love it. Now, what, how is this one compared to the first? I felt it more this time. This time, okay. Yeah. Well, also, I've been practicing a little bit more since the last time. <laughs> Probably seen about a thousand people since you've been in. Not really. Wow. Probably like 500. Whoop. Okay. Before you get up, we're going to do a little more twist release in your neck. Let me lower the table, though, first. You ready for more? Sounds good. Let's see, baby. Let's see about this neck. Clunk. Oh. Relax. Clunk twice. Good job. Okay, big man. Done here. So when you're ready, make your way up. If you need my help, let me know. And now it's completely even. So that pull, maybe a little bit of the massage, but probably not a lot from the massage. That pull took your hip down two inches. So, and the torque is like, it's still a teeny bit, but the torque is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 90% gone. 90% gone. So that's fantastic, bro. Good. Okay, so now let's do some push down, some drop technique. Good. You remember this, right? Stay relaxed. Good. Oof. I gotta do a body drop on you. Yeah. Let me get on this side. Good. Very nice. All right, let's see. Go ahead and lift that left leg up and see if it's any better. Wow. Yes? Yeah. Visually, it looks like it went up. Try to write. Amen, bro. Dude, now, that's pretty much normal range of motion for your hips. So we're back to a good job on the lower back and the hips. 
Now we're gonna do here, boom, boom, boom. All right, now we're gonna push through here. Again, I gotta tighten the top one. There we go, stay relaxed. Good. Relax. Nice. Nice. And you like it. Yes, All right. So now we're going to do the transition area. So look straight up to the sky. Tilt to the right. Let it go. Boom. And back. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Look up again. This way. Good, back in the middle. Not a lot of popping. I think it all got out in the in the um, in the pole. Good. Feels a lot looser, a lot less tension. Roll over on your back when you're ready. Relax. Boom. And relax. Did that release more? Oh yeah, no, I feel it. All right. I forgot. You good with the toes? Yes, sir. Loose. Oh, there we go. There we go. Woo, good one. A uh, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Pinky, second, third, fourth. No big toe. All right. We're going to just yank at the ankle. It's going to release here. Maybe even a little bit here. Maybe even more here. Stay relaxed. Relax, loose. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> that was a big one. You know what's really good? I mean, you're a little heavy, right? So your body doesn't slide. So when I pull, it also stops short here and it, it really makes it easier to release. <laughs> drop it, drop it. Nice. Good. All right. You good? I'm good to go. You look good. I want to do your shoulders, but I can't reach around. But I remember, I, I remembered a different way to do it. Then here, keep it up this way, right? Keep it right like that. Mm -hmm. This thing drops, this thing pops up again. Keep, keep this away from your face. Ready, relax, boom, see? That's a modified way where I can't reach around. Good, all right, let me come around the other side. Do this, elbow up to the sky, hand away from the face. Ah, stay relaxed, good. Good, all right. Now sit up and swing around that way. Relax. I train when I train. I I I, I pull sl like five hundred pound sleds. That's why I'm good. Go. Relax. Good. Good. Now when I say pull, you pull back. Ready? Pull. Got it. Ooh. Good. Relax. Good. That went good. Pull. Got it. Whew. Boom. And you look better. You feel good? I feel better because of you. I appreciate you coming by and taking two and a half hours to get here. It's worth every, every minute. I do everything I can to make it worth your trip. So I hope it was worth it for you. It's very much worth it. And I highly recommend Dr. Herman. I appreciate it, bro. Good job. You're doing a lot better. When you feel you need me again, right? We talked about it or when we first about how to tell when you need it. Mm hmm so when you feel you need me and you want to come take the ride, book it again, come back through and we'll do more. Yes, sir. Guru chiropractor, out of breath. Big Chris, doing a lot better. He had a great release today. Um, if you watched and you like it and if you feel like you're relating to it, like, you know what? I think I'm, I'm jacked up and that might help me. It really looks like it could. I would say trust your gut, trust your instincts, reach out. Um, the best way to reach out to book an appointment with me is my website, retrochiropractic.com you go there uh, by the way all my information is there my prices and everything else but there's a book now link put your info in the book now link hit send it goes right to my assistant on a spreadsheet he grabs your number he reaches back out to you via text and you guys can work it out and get and get an appointment um, if you want to text directly it's 908-224-3080 if you come by like i said i will do my very best to help you out i'm i'm, uh, I'm here to serve from my heart Yes, it is a business. Yes, I am for profit, but that's not my number one priority. My number one priority is helping people. And I know as long as I keep doing that, I never have to worry about where my next patient's coming from because you guys send me all your people. Absolutely. So I just keep helping people to the best of my ability. 
and I will do that for you if you decide to come through. Love and appreciate all you fans out there for watching and for appreciating it. Peace out. Out. Love you.